I'm stood here in this park in the middle of North Shields called Alexander Scott Park. Now this park, uh, if you have a look at it, it's a yeah, pretty featureless park. It doesn't really look anything special. But what might surprise a lot of people is that uh, this is, I believe, uh, must have been the site of a Roman camp. Now, uh, everyone knows that the wall ended at Wall's End, that's true, but Two very famous 19th century antiquaries uh, claimed that there was a Roman camp here. Uh, the first one was John Hodgson. Now, John Hodgson was the first guy to attribute Hadrian's Wall to the Emperor Hadrian. So the antiquaries before him, the historians before him, they believed that Hadrian's Wall was built by Severus. They didn't quite know who built it. So John Hodgson is a very important antiquary, and he talked about um, sto Roman stones and a camp, the outline of camp, a camp here, and uh, a sort of earthen rampart uh, and earthen defences running all the way to Tynemouth from Wall's End called the Foss which runs pretty much along the site of the railway line which is the railway line is just behind this wall here okay and behind that railway line is the playing field of St Cuthbert's Primary School so this is the metro line and John Hodgson said that there was a Roman camp here now the other guy who said there was a Roman camp here was John Collingwood Bruce and John Collingwood Bruce was really the preeminent antiquary of the 19th century in this area and he said there there was a there's a roman camp here and they said it was directly on a line through through um east Churton. now there's an old document from 1320 that mentions this this roman camp it was called blake chester's and blake chester's is mentioned in a document from 1320 it, 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 it's called the time of chartlery and that was a record of all the prior's lands and all his holdings across the area and so it's written in the time of the 1320 time of chartlery. There's a land called Blake Chester's here in a field of East Churton. Now we might be in the middle of North Shields now, but before this upper town was built, as I mentioned before, as this expanded after the railway came here in 1847, um, this would have been East Churton, this part of the part of the area. So I can pinpoint it pretty much to this place. And the reason I'm quite so confident about doing that is because, for well, two reasons. There was a guy lived in a house there called Waterville House, called George Rippon. And George Rippon, Waterville House was bombed and destroyed in 1941 by the German German bombing. But George Rippon was, uh, he, he owned this land, it was called Waterville House, and he was very adamant that there was a Roman camp here. And the other reason that I'm very sure about this is because in this 1320 document, it kind of got, it was written in Latin, the time of Chartlery, and that got mistranslated. It got mistranslated by a historian called Craster, who was, Craster's a very, very famous uh, historian of the region. He was the Duke of Northumberland's historian, and he was such a rigorous and thorough historian, his research is just immense, and he had full access to the Duke's archives. So, um, but, the, but you know, not everyone's perfect, and he did actually mistranslate or misinterpret this piece of writing about Blake Chester's. And the actual correct Latin, Latin translation of it places it around here in line with Billy Mill um, and, and certain other line, lines that mark off uh, the, a certain boundary of land. So, so this, I believe, was probably Blake Chester's. Um, it, you know, this, this was, uh, you know, a Roman camp. And the other thing, like, you know, it's on Coach, you've got Coach Lane here going right down to the river. Okay, and you can see, you can see the river from, from just there. But actually, and that's, that's quite a slope going down to the river. But this actual parkland, this piece of land here is relatively flat. And if you look at it from above, it does look like it's kind of, it meets the criteria of a Roman camp. It, meet, it fits that kind of shape. It's very level. And you know, things just don't disappear from history. So underneath this park, it's called Alexander Scott Park. Now, Alexander Scott was a, a local councillor um, in the late 19th century, I believe, and he kept this piece of land uh, marked off so nothing could be built on it. Why? Because he probably was aware of, of what was here. So there you go. It's called Blake Chester's. I've written extensively about it on my website, which is called penbal.uk. And if you look at penbal.uk, P-E-N-B-A-L.uk, uh, on the, right at the top of the front page there, you can see a, a long um, bit of research that me and, and my friend Gary Holland have done on this site of Blake Chester's, which we believe was the Roman camp in North Shields.